and so is formed the bridge over the river Y. Hello everybody, once again, this is Andy Lini and I welcome you back to Let's Play Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. In the previous episode, we fought Helmet Head in the Midoro Swamp Palace, and this time we are taking this road to south of the village Saria. And into this cave. And here we find in ourselves in a maze, and this maze is actually Death Mountain. The same thing from the first game. The thing is that, of course, since this is the dif different par parts of Hyrule, it's the same Hyrule than it, it was in the first game. But this is the northern part of the Hyrule. In the original game, it was the southern parts of Hyrule, so Dead Mountain was in north. Now this time, Dead Mountain is in south, as we are in the different parts. And we have to traverse through these caves in order to reach where we want to go. Here are some nice secrets we might find here. And if these Octoroks just wouldn't shoot their stones at me all the time, it could make me much more comfortable with myself. Of course, it's very important to choose the right way, so you don't go misstepping here, because it's easy to go, go to a dead end and then you are forced to go back, because this, there can be some very difficult enemies right here. Like these. These are Lysalfos. Thankfully he wasn't too difficult. Let's see now if this is the right place where I am. Yes, this seems to be the right place. Oh no, it's not. Man. I think this is the right way right now. Map isn't as si simple as read as you want to think, because I didn't take into account you could get lost inside these mazes, even inside here. But I think I just got the right choice here. You could just move up along and not hit me all the time, I'll take that. As you might see, I have done some grinding, I grinded one level there. Oh, come on! Why do that? Oh well, what can I say? What? Oh no, not you. Not fun. Hate this guy, I really do. But thankfully he's gone. See, I don't think I can afford to jump right now. Oh, but now I can. And it helped me so I can gra grab this red magic potion. And fill up my health. I always going to say hearts, but this game doesn't actually have hearts. It has just help. Come on, but no. stay there. Not again. Thankfully, they aren't too difficult. The three hits will kill them. But I am bad at these guys. I really am. I must really say how I suck at fighting Lysalphoses. Especially those blue ones, I mean red ones. Man! Aren't they difficult? And here you have to time your attacks right. 
And I just say I suck at that too. Well, that's fine. 200 points of experience from one Lysalfos. Now that's something I can... write under. Whatever that means, I have no idea. In, fi in Finnish it does, but in English it doesn't really work that way. Oh well. Thankfully we are almost done with this. Let's see, I could just life here. Get full magic too. And we have found ourselves out. Now you want to enter this black square, it's actually a cave. Come on. Don't go there. I want to be able to jump. And he hits me with the last straw. Is there another? I don't even remember. Maybe there was, maybe there wasn't. Some more life. There's never too much life in this game. Because you die so effing easily. And these... What is this enemy really? Hey, if you know, tell me. I, I have no idea what that enemy is called. I, I mean, really, I have no idea. Not at all. Let's take this road first. And then go down there. Oh, nothing. How wonderful little dead end. And I was so sure I could enter these caverns without a map. And there I go. Completely unprepared. Oh, come on. <sighs> Why there must be so much of them? Better take this carefully if I remember. Yep. There was that. It walked into a lava by itself, but... Man, if you ever stumble against those, you can't really fight them. Oh, come on, hit them! Sure than I did. Oh, and more life! How useful! So this place isn't all bad, as you see. I just hate it when he throws two in a row. But here's our treasure. The hammer. Now we can't do anything with the hammer when we are inside a cave. It only works on a world map. I'll show you when, I, when we reach the world map again. But first... We have to traverse through this cave, back where we came from. And there's that spiny-like enemy right there, we can't defeat it right... As of yet, we need certain attack we have to use against it. We will get it sooner rather than later. So don't worry about that. Oh, don't come here! Go away! I have a Lysalfos to kill him. I am so amazed I didn't take a hit from it. Man! Let's see if this is a dead end too. Seems like it. No, it has a red magic jar. Oh well, better than nothing. Okay, get some life. Not that I have lost any, but, but anyway. So as you might might see, this game really needs some skill to traverse around. And that's why it's for, so hard for me to speak something, as I really need to concentrate all the time. It ain't easy. But I'll try. Try to keep all of you, my weavers, entertained. So you don't all leave me. I know many of you left during the hiatus I had. 
But anyway, now I can show you how the hammer works. Just press the button and use it on a rock. And this rock hides a secret. You fall down and you can find yourself a magic jar. Just a little secret there. It also has another secret. Or another way to use it, more like. It's not really that useful, but you need it in one point of this game. Walk here, and you can fell some wood with it. Clear away some forests. If you like. And now I wish to take this route, as this takes us to a place we haven't been yet. Almost fell there. It's a bad thing. If those knock you like that one, that was too close, man. All too close. I was sure I got hit by that. Thank god I did it. And now we'll see if we can enter the new area in this game. I probably not go to the next dungeon yet. But we should reach it pretty soon. Maybe in the next episode, I'm not quite sure. But I'll try. I'll try to do as much as I can in this episode so I don't have to... Or you don't have to wait for the next one. This is just too cruel. Too cruel, I tell you. Okay, that was a good one. And here we are. We could now go and check out the next village we have coming up. If I just can get through these enemies. Shouldn't take long. And we are right here. That, that's the meter, meter of swamp you can see right there. Place to use raft. We can use it yet. And let's see. Harbor town of Meadow. And let's see now. I need some health and magic. And then let's see if I can find the spell that's also hidden. A new spell for us. Is this guy here. No, doesn't seem like it. Door staying shut. But here we can we can use jump and reach the church via the upper door. The lower door is always closed, you can't go in. And this might look like an old man, but it's actually a knight. Talk to knight, and when you jump, press downward to stab. And that's the move I was new move I was talking about earlier. Downward stab. Basically jump and press down during the jump and you can downward stab. Very useful trick to choose. And you pretty much need it in the next dungeon anyway. So better to get it now. And here we can have some magic. Now that we need it. And I bet here is the... Please, my doctor is sick. Help her. Yes. This one actually needs a potion. Which we are going to get right now. There's an another place I want to go to. Stop attacking me, there's no point. Here is... Another cave that's blocked by a boulder. So we'll just use that. Inside we have some pretty serious thing. And now I should just show you how to use the downward stub. 
and that's the only way to kill those spine-like enemies right there. You can't do it any other way. And they should just leave me alone, I'm too powerful for them already. Let's see, yes, it was just short. Here's the hot container. And now we have some fine amount of health. Sorry, this may be a little bit too much of backtracking around here. I just don't really like cutting episodes. I want to do them as directly as possible. So sorry about that. I'll try to make them this very streamlined and plan ahead. And this is something I didn't plan. <laughs> What a timing! Come on! One more reason to hate those things. And there is with what we need. Go away! I don't want to fight right now, I want to... ...reach the... ...effing cave! Right over there. Like this. And maybe survive from all these enemies attacking me all at once. It's not really that useful when all the enemies are so so small fries that they give you very little experience, and it doesn't really help you at all when you have reached this high level when you need 2,000. really need much experience to survive or gain those levels at all. And this is this is not really a treasure, it's a let's see what you actually call sacred sacred water. That's what it's actually called. And that old woman's doctor was sick. So now we can pretty much heal her with the sacred water. Pretty much works like the a magic potion in, in Zelda game too. The red potion, you know. That has become a stable item in the modern Zelda games. So, it was actually first shown in this game. Remember that. So you can brag when someone asks you about Zelda next time someone does. Pro they probably don't, but when they do, you'll be ready. Okay then, fairy. This doesn't happen too often. Okay, I think this is it. I will probably quit right after this episode. This episode. What the hell am I talking about? I just need to deliver the sacred water, and then I'll pretty much quit. I don't think there's anything more to show. Let's see what you see. The island palace in the south has a raft. Well, that's useful information, I gotta say. You. I am much too busy. Then be so. Let's get a magic bag. And talk to this old woman here. The water of life. Quick, come with me. So this game actually calls it Water of Life. Good to know. Here we find the old man. This magic word will give you power. The power! And it's called fairy. 
Actually, it does not give you power at all, it transforms you into a fairy. So I don't know what the hell was he babbling about. And that's pretty much it. But, as I'm a common liar, I will not quit the episode right here. Instead, I'm taking a little detour to this graveyard right here. We're going to see the King's Tomb, which is located right in the middle of it, that lone one, right here. There's an old woman, let's see what she says. This is King's Tomb. Thank you for your information, but there's a secret. Walk south of King's Tomb, and when I say south, I really do mean it. These enemies are really annoying. Just walk, and you will fall. Be a se secret path. And let's see if I really do need the fairy right here. I probably do. Let's see. Yeah, I need, I need it there. You really need, need the fairy to enter. But this is how it works. You transform into a fairy, you can't attack, you can only float. And try to dodge the enemies while doing so. Thankfully you don't need it that often. Oh, come on. We should be out right now, and there is our next destination. Uh, I hope to meet you again in when we next continue. Tell that you, the adventure of Link. Go away, would you? I hope to see you again then, as we enter the, enter the island palace. And try to find what tricks and traps lies in wait there. For now, thank you for watching, and have a legendary day! Boo-hoo!